for the Red Sox at shortstop is a guy who's always there, Xander Bogarts. There's still time left on his contract, but he can opt out. He's going to be a free agent. Everybody's wondering are the Red Sox going to sign him. It is jarring to think about. I want Xander Bogarts because he's going to help me win and bring me another ring. Can you envision Xander Bogarts wearing another uniform? No, I can't. Absolutely crushes. It's kind of the heartbeat of this club right now. When you see him in camp, he's always smiling. He doesn't get enough love. He believes he's a star in this league. Does it get enough love? Well, that Xander Bogarts is a free agent, and this tweet here involving Sam Kennedy. Sam Kennedy, by the way, president and CEO. He says the Red Sox are still engaged with Xander Bogarts and that no doors have been closed there. Chris Cotillo goes on to tweet. On the idea of Bogart severing ties with the Red Sox, I don't have that impression. But all we can go by is our desire to bring him back. He hasn't told you he's done talking? Nope. Wouldn't say if the Sox will have the chance to match outside offers. A lot of scuttlebutt with this Red Sox team, and Jake Peavy knows about that, having pitched for Boston there in the hub. There was some talk here, people, right? $300 million you can sign Devers, $200 million Bogarts. You can wait $500 million, and your pitching staff still has a lot of question marks, Sale, Pavetta, Evaldi, Frazier, et cetera. What do you make specifically about Bogarts potentially coming back? Because Boston, you know, can afford him if they want him. I'm hoping that, that we do the right thing here, and the right thing for me, if you're a Boston is to sign Alexander Bogarts. He is your tie to the legacy that has lived in Boston since those championships in 04 were born. David Ortiz and, and the great players that, that broke the curse handed that straight baton off to none other than Dustin Pedroia down to Alexander Bogarts. And, and to me, he just understands what it means to be a Boston Red Sox. He, or a Sox. he understands the accountability, the work ethic, and the standard that's set. That come before him, and he's just a class act. Never mind what he does on the field, who he is in the community, in the clubhouse. I've got to have this guy. I played with him at 20 years old when he came up and got asked to play a different position, third base down the stretch. And the at bats that he had versus Max Scherzer, versus Anibal Sanchez, they weren't 20 year old at bats. These were winning World Series at bats. Xander Bogarts has been huge since his arrival. Let's not forget what he's meant. A couple titles to Beantown, to Titletown. Let's do the right thing and keep Alexander Bogart in Boston. And this is not doing the right thing on a player that's on the decline. Like, he still produces year in and year out. He's, he's one of the most clutch players that the Red Sox have. And you see what he was able to do back then. But like I said, he is still being productive right now. Big time player for the Red Sox. And he's part, he's, he's the heart and soul of this team. Steve, I put him in the same category as I do Aaron Judge and the Yankees. He's been there forever, and if you lose this guy, what is your identity? Where do you go from here? Who is the leader? Who is the go-to guy? Who is the face of the team? What does Devers do if you take away his, his running mate right there and, and Xander Bogarts? It's like, what direction does the team go if you're not willing to keep your superstar caliber player? It's confusing to me. So. The fact that they haven't been able to come to a deal or the fact that it doesn't seem like things are progressing as well as they are with Judge and the Yankees, mm -hmm. it just comes off a little fishy to me. I'm just being honest. When you're watching how this is transpiring, the, the doubt in Bogey or maybe even the doubt of the team or the doubt of the fans, it doesn't seem like Bogey has been made a priority, mm -hmm. which is a little concerning to me. So I can see the Red Sox going a couple ways. You lose Bogey and then the, the, the the organization just goes completely left. Now maybe you're not even signing Devers at the, or you're letting Bogey go and you have something up your sleeve where you're trying, where you have somebody else in your mind, kind of like Freddie Freeman when he was with the Braves and everybody was wondering, what's going on with Freddie Freeman? This doesn't feel quite right. Mm -hmm. And then you see Olsen sign right out the gate. I can see Boston maybe trying to manipulate some moves a little bit and maybe try to bring another big guy because I just don't see, I understand the plan is for Story to go over to shortstop, mm -hmm. but I just don't see Story Story being that everyday guy at shortstop with some of the throwing things that he had going on last year with his shot with his elbow is that all healed and all of a sudden you're expecting him when the shift is taken away to be able to make all those plays in the six hole like is that the plan moving forward and that just doesn't seem like what the Red Sox or the Yankees do when you have a guy you try to hold on to your guy and let him go over there and retire as a Red Sox how worrisome is Bogart's defense minus 32 defensive runs saved since 2017 maybe look at those other guys going hey Bogart's rakes no question he can hit but these other guys are a little better defensively maybe we should pay them instead and that's why I say that that could be happening 
but the benefit with Bogarts, like I think he's probably willing to move around. I'm not saying he has to move around right now, but if you have a six, seven, eight year deal on the table, like I'm thinking he's willing to move around and do whatever the team needs, which could improve his value for other teams out there trying to come in. Well, he's already done it. Yeah, he's already done it. He's done it gracefully. If he does need to move to third, I don't think that's any problems. And again, Xander is a pro at all levels and will take any of that with class. But to me, moving Trevor's story over, it isn't that easy. And again, with some of the, the plaguing injuries, I don't know that you don't have a defensive um, issue there with Liability. Trevor's story. So again, what Xander brings to the table across the board and then who he is offensively, and he plays shortstop good enough. He is what Boston needs to build around. They need to continue to have that leader in the clubhouse, and they've got to get some pitching or they're in trouble in, the, in a very good American League East. Bogey knows Boston and Bo knows baseball.